make it up to you. Yeah, I do what I gotta do so that I get home. Oh, that's enough, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. What up, Tommy? Uh, I did. I'm trying to get with you, Tommy. So, uh, be looking out for my phone call because I will certainly call you soon. Anyways, let's get back to uh, my story. After I give a shout out to a few people, I want to shout out Elijah. Let me shout out Destiny. Let me shout out Jackie, Mufasa, John, um, Shaka Zulu. Uh, let me shout out also Erica. Thank y'all for being uh, avid supporters, and um, I appreciate you for being out there. Thank you very, very, very much because you can. There's so many content creators that you can listen to, and you probably do. So I appreciate you listening to my content. So now this story I want to uh, uh, talk about right now, and is uh, you know I hate to do this kind of stuff, but I'm really disappointed at people for uh, clowning uh, Jaden Smith. I think what Jaden Smith was very said was very true. Um, so let me start with this article that says, uh, in yet another incident making the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad year the Smith Entertainment Dynasty is currently enduring, Jaden Smith is undergoing yet another round of Twitter roasting as users on the site Shred, just shred the 23-year-old for a resurfaced video in which the then 19-year-old complained that kids his own age lack real interest in serious topics such as global politics. Okay, and most of the kids of his age really do. Who wants to argue with the young man? Most of these young people today ain't not are not even thinking about politics especially our kids, the way we need them to. Because, see, we need we going to need an army to fix this stuff. And if you're not interested in that type of shit, how are you going to get it fixed, right? If our young people don't have any interest in trying to fix the condition but don't even have a reason why, they just like ships without rudders or, you know, Without sails out there in the uh, ocean, just drifting, they go whichever way they want to go. Anyway, it says the video, which comes from a 2018 interview Smith did with Big Boy TV, features Smith making an utterly heartfelt yet completely cringing proclamation regarding his peers in the way only a 19-year-old kid can, expressing complete dissatisfaction at not being able to confine contemporaries who can hold court with him on topics such as geo-socio-political matters. Well, listen, honey, I'm going to tell you, adults have to find like-minded people because, see, a lot of grown people just like to shake their asses uh, and try to see who got the bag and who want to bling, bling, bling. They done sold their souls already for a mess of pottage, just like Judas. So um, I don't find anything wrong with what the young man said. In fact, I wish more young people his age would use their energy and their tenacity and their smarts and their wherewithal to pick up something else besides trying to be a basketball player or trying to be a rapper, or trying to uh, take Percocets. I mean, really. And so if y'all think I'm coming down hard on the young people, uh, well, the next video that I do is going to, um, I'm going to get into it a little bit more, because a young lady that I, um, I, I, I pretty much, raised as a niece until her mom took her away. Um, actually, she had somebody influence her and tell her well, she should take her child away from the positive influences that she had in her life uh, for whatever reason, and she decided to do it. So now the young lady is 17 years old and a full-fledged uh, trafficker, uh, trafficked, trafficked, 
15 and also is pretty much used as a liaison uh, to traffic other young girls. And she's 17 years old. Uh, I lost contact with her when she got about nine, maybe nine or 10 is when her mom removed her, us from the, uh, her from our situation. Before then, she was going on trips all across the country. She was um, involved in things that young people should be involved in. She would uh, go, she was exposed to a lot of things and expos and science fairs and things of that nature that she really took a liking to. So um, y'all know what happened a lot of time when these young ladies have uh, boyfriends and they take uh, have young ladies and young children, and um, I know a lot about that. That's why I speak so roughly on it. There's a lot of that involved in how I that the people that I know that allow people to come and be over their children that are not the children's fathers that uh, end up, you know, pretty much raising the children or being there with them a lot. And um, you can take it for what it's worth. Sometimes the behavior goes totally east. I mean, totally outside of bounds and boundaries. And a lot of times you find out that they're being molested by the care provider. Um, so what happened in this beha in this situation? Um, I know we got to know the behavior. Uh, the children, especially little girls, they start running away. They start being rebellious, especially when they've been molested. So she had all the signs of a child being molested. Um, you know, I used to be get calls for at two or three o'clock in the morning. She's hiding under people's cars, uh, coming to me because she didn't want to go back home. Um, and I think one of the things that it's a hard, uh, it's it's very hard for me to get past is the fact that she trusted me and asked me not to call her mother. I I knew her mom was looking for her. I didn't, as a mom, want her mother looking for her, but I still wanted to respect the child. So what I did was I said, listen, <coughs> I'm just going to tell your mom that you were here. You're going to stay the night here. And this is like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, and, and and so hopefully she won't come and pick you up until the morning when we get a chance to talk and settle down and figure out, you know, some things. Why are you running away? Why are you doing these things? And you're taking a chance and risking your own life at getting in the car with strangers. So as soon as I try to tell her mom that instead of her mom saying, OK, you got it. You've been handling her since the, she came into the world. I trust you and I trust your thought process. Instead of her doing that, she jumped up, called the police. And of course, they came to my house to pick up the little girl. And at this time, she was about 12, maybe. Yeah, maybe 12. And um, she didn't want to go back. The mom, I said, why would you come? Why, why would you do that? She's coming home with me and she's coming home with me right now. I was so upset. But of course, there's nothing I can do because she is not my daughter and I wasn't responsible for her. I was just an aunt uh, that was trying to do the right thing with a child that I knew who had been sexually molested. I know all the signs. From having um, just, I just know all the signs, okay? I've taken enough uh, uh, childhood development courses uh, to know, and I have over 1,500 hours in child development. So I, I pretty much am looking for certain signs when I deal with people's children, okay? The mother, needless to say, well, Pulled her control card, put the girl back in the car at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. They went back to her house. She's angry because the daughter came to me.
Now, because this girl, y'all know, is a Taurus, and you know how strong-willed a Taurus is, for those of y'all who are Taurians out there, uh, they don't play that. I don't care how young they are. That certain signs have certain wills, and you know that's not going they, to, they're going to do it. And she told her mother she didn't want to go back to the house. Of course, her mom was not listening to her because she wants to be in control all the way, not ever letting to the child um, ever have any power over her life at all. Power over her life at that time would have been her staying with me. In for a few hours, for a couple days, at least till we get this situation settled. I take it as the mother didn't want me to know what I found out later on about the young lady. Now, like I said, her life is so out of control that um, I feel bad. I mean, she's taking people up to uh, another town. They're all engaging in uh, trafficking. She's recruiting other girls. 15, and y'all already know this is already the hometown of Iceberg Slim, uh, Kitty Ivy. Uh, Kid, I mean, this is our Milwaukee is a pimp town, okay? If you didn't work in the factory, then you pimp. <laughs> I mean, this, this, that's what it is. So, pimping here in Milwaukee, Chicago, I mean, you know, I mean, it's probably on a much more larger scale than a lot of people ever thought. So this child trafficking ring is more serious than a lot of y'all are even giving um, credence to because the Internet is so powerful that they don't even have to uh, walk up and down no stroll. They don't have to go down the whole stroll in 35th Street or North Avenue. They don't got to do that. They just jump around their computers and there's somebody uh, if. If you don't monitor your children, there's somebody trying to entice them to do something that's on the left foot. So as I talk, as I listen to what Jaden is saying about young people, a lot of young people are living so far beneath up under the um, uh, 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 the scope of normal living. And that's a whole big part of our future. That's a whole big part of uh, our army to go forward. They're done. They've been molested. They've been molested by mama's boyfriends, stepfathers. They've been molested by their own natural fathers. Girls have a real hard time out here, uh, specifically. But young people as a whole are not buying what people are selling anymore. And so we're going to have to find a way to hit these young people. Because I'm not saying all, of course, but I'm saying we're going to need an army to do this. And half of our army is on shutdown, on mental lockdown, emotional lockdown, and they're politically uh, bankrupt and morally bankrupt. So I agree with Jaden Smith, and um, I know a lot of y'all going to get mad at me for saying that, but it's the truth. Name me 20 young people that you know, if you know 20 young people, and tell me how many of them on the left foot. Okay? This is a problem from the generation before. Okay? If the fruit is gone bad, you don't keep on checking the damn fruit. Damn it, like I said before, check the tree. Check the tree. When you got uh, people that got kids in their family that's committing all kinds of hideous type of crimes and doing all kinds of crazy and stuff. You're like, what is wrong? I'm not saying always, but don't keep checking the fruit. Please check the tree. Because a bad tree will produce bad fruit. And you need to understand that. And the faster you understand that, maybe we can get some of y'all to stop producing all this madness that's going on out here. So, you know, hey, again, let me know what you think about Jaden's comments. And what do you think about our young people today? Is that is that a true statement that you think Jaden made or you think he just tripping like his dad and mama? <laughs> With that being said. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share the channel. Please share the channel. Please give it a like and please comment. Don't cost you nothing to comment. Don't cost you nothing to watch the commercials. 
that play, and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, and have a good day.